people behind, how are you supposed to get a pick? Right? Yeah, like you, you're, you just don't. You're not gonna yeah. do that. So, <laughs> so you need to play this composition, you know, from a position of power. If you're playing from ahead, if you're first, he will not be there in time to fight for the crap. Oh, and now they're gonna be a little bit worried about a potential dive. Boy, uh, Jose is concerned about this here too. He is moving quickly up there. Now it's just a question of can FlyQuest actually get back to the tower? Okay, they're going in. Viego's about to die here with the very start. That was not what they needed. Flash over the wall from Spica is too late. TSM, they end up losing both, and it works out for FlyQuest. Nicely done. Shopped yet. His yep. opponent was able to go back to base, shop, come back. He's got the Kindle Gem. He's got the level one boots, all of that. Power of Evil's still sitting here on Dorian's Blade and a cookie. So his trading's not going to be the most Ooh, effective as Cooney is pretty far forward here. Going to find himself in the middle of three different players from FlyQuest. He's already dead. The TP comes in from Power of Evil, but it's not in time. And Hooney just gives over some free money. Yeah, Licorice, Hoonie. this is not good. That was not, not a fan of that one. Having to flash out there, just staying around too long. Yeah, I think he just kind of underestimated. Uh, you know, how, how much danger he could be in. And now they can actually set up a dive. They're TPing in on him. He's low health. He's being pushed in on. Huni may be close to level six. If he hits six, Licorice is for sure just dead. Oh, but Sword Art's now in trouble. He's the one getting jumped on. Palafox with the stolen Leona ulti from a level four Leona. That feels the worst, but it doesn't feel as bad as this. Speak of grabbing another kill on Licorice. And look at all the minions he's going to root in this game. It is worth mentioning that Viego, even from really far behind, can still hack away instead of over indexing on this. It might just end up being a free leash here for TSM. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that FlyQuest still are posturing as though they want to fight for this, but I feel like they're just too late. Yeah. Jose, he's in here, gets jumped over the Zenith Blade coming out from Sword Art. Sword Art now going to tank a bunch of damage. The Living Artillery comes down and guarantees they got enough Licorice damage for Jose to, be able to grab the kill, but now it's going to be a second one. Huni's already dead, and Licorice is approaching from the side. They will not find any more. 3 Jose Diodo is as well. These guys are really getting very strong at this point. Well, Sword Art and Spica make their way up into the top lane now. Remember, the Leona still not with a Solar Flare, and he misses the Zenith Blade. Sword Art is not having a good game of League of Legends here today. He will die yet again. Jose Diodo wanted to give the kill over to Johnson, and that's exactly what FlyQuest will do. This Kog'Maw is going to be a problem. FlyQuest getting very far ahead. Yeah, Licorice is not having a fun game, but to be honest, he's just got to minimize his losses at this point. No need to really commit into a fight here. Uh, okay, he's, he's backing away now. He definitely does not just... TSM, they anticipate it, they answer it well, and FlyQuest are looking really, really good in the early minutes. And I like seeing that, especially considering the state of the game they played yesterday, right? Yep. You touched on it. They got perfect gamed by Cloud9. That's one of those situations where you can't just do a quick 20-minute VOD review and be like, okay, here's what went wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of things going wrong there, but they're bouncing back wonderfully start? here, except the oh, I cast her cursed, and I'm sorry, poor little Lulu. Spika grabs the kill, and TSM will get there. I their would like to see FlyQuest at the very least grab the dragon to be able to continue that snowball. Cool. is going to be basically back to even, and it was very significantly ahead for FlyQuest, but the kill, the tower, they're almost even going to get the tier two here. So really nice pick for TSM. Get less for the turret damage and more for the pressure of the third dragon. Yeah. If you already have the first two, you grab the Herald, you utilize that to try to threaten. Oh, oh in trouble. Boy. And remember, he doesn't have the flash. There we go. He uses the ulti to escape, but they just have too much manpower down here. Spika using the flash to get away from the turret. Make sure it's not a one for one. This is what you want to see from TSM. On the With top side, so they're going to grab two towers off of it. They do lose one tower and the kill. So it's not too bad of a trade for TSM, TSM though. Going to be starting up this dragon here. If Lycos wants to fight, Licorice has got a TP pretty much now. And Okay, I mean, the TP is coming in, but it feels a little bit late. They're already grabbing the Wait. dragon to the side of TSM. Goodbye or not quite. Okay, TSM moving into enemy territory yet again here. Palafox walks it off. Does have the stolen equalizer. Wants to bring that one down, but TSM can just walk away from it in time. Doesn't look like FlyQuest will be able to grab anybody here, or maybe? Okay, but TSM's ready. They got the counterattack already prepared to go. The stasis will keep Palafox alive, but he has to flash away. Here comes Hooney over the wall, but Hooney's all alone, and Hooney's down! Palafox is on a rampage, and TSM... Alive. Oh, no boy. stopwatch now. Okay, there is no way out this time around. He Ooh. nearly... 
barely takes Spica with him, but uh, close doesn't count in League of Legends. I'm Absolutely afraid. not. And that is huge because that's Tristana who gets the shutdown. A pretty strong front line. Cog Lulu is really going to be starting to come online. You can see the two items are completed. Oh, yeah. so. Oh, Spika's on the run, but Jose Diotto chasing right after him. Backs up a little bit here with a stolen equalizer, stopping Spika's escape route. But who's really in trouble? Living Artillery comes down, Palafox wanting to go in. Everfrost able to find the lockdown here with Hooney swooping in for the counterattack. TSM, they find one. They're about to grab two, and FlyQuest just goes too deep. The punish is there, and FlyQuest is on the run, having lost both solo laners, and TSM still having a five-man strong squad. They're into the Baron. Yeah. Yeah, that is huge. FlyQuest funneled in there, and the Nocturne ulti was game-changing. Johnson had no vision to actually get in there and do anything. Now his W is back up. Will he commit to this? He wants to fight. Oh, man, this is going to be such a big moment here. Hooney's going forward. Hooney will be the first to die. Jose Diodo still alive with a bomb about to explode. They do it. But now he's, he's able to do is an AD Kog'Maw just throwing out ults. He can never get enraged. Zoned yep. by the Equalizer, then zoned by the call. And it's just a chunk him because look where Johnson is. He's already to mid lane, pushing this in. So TSM is cut off. They have no the answer. Despite the fact that TSM have the double mark no the for the position, they are not clearing this out super quickly here. Sword Art, however, has already lost a chunk of his HP. Jose Diodo steps forward. He will see that it's about 4,000 HP. Jose's already leading the charge. Equalizer's brought down. Hooney swooping into the back line, going after the AD carry, but it will not be enough. Hooney's about to die here. Barry at the start. Speak is grabbing the bear, and they go back over the wall. Speak is about to die. Hooney's already dead now, too. They'll continue looking for more. Lost is at 100 HP. They're still looking for more. Licorice is about to redeem himself. You want to gank this man again? He is going to stomp you into the ground, baby. FlyQuest lose the Baron, but they take the Bud Light Ace. Legger is taking the souls of everyone who's killed in this game. He's popping off the flank from the Viego. FlyQuest crushing through. TSM unable to get onto Johnson, and the Kog'Maw absolutely guts them. They're going to take the game, Flowers. That's all it takes, man. One good team fight. The Nocturne jumps in on the Kog'Maw, but not today. They were able to protect the president. They will win themselves this game, and FlyQuest take down TSM. A really well-played game here from FlyQuest.